Hi guys, so just a quick overview of the organic research tool on SEMrush. Recently done a webinar with Alida Solis, which went down well. You can see the full webinar at the bottom of this page, um, but this is just a quick recap on how the tool works, what it does, and, and everything else that you can do with it. Um, so first of all, where do you find the organic research tool? So when you log in to SEMrush, you've got your dashboard over on the left-hand side, and if you click on Domain Analytics, you see the second one down is the organic research tool. So if you click the organic research button, it will open up a nice dashboard like this. And you'll be able to see here exactly what the tool does. So you can explore your rivals keyword rankings on desktop and mobile, view the landing pages displayed in the SERPs, see how much traffic a search term is bringing, uh, bringing organically. Um, and find new organic competitors, observe the main position changes. So quite a cool tool, <coughs> saves you doing a lot of manual grunt work, um, which is, I'm sure, something that all of us want to try and avoid. So make sure, first things first, you select the right database. Me being in the UK, it's going to be the UK version. So I'm just going to put in my own domain name for test purposes. And then you press this green search button. And up will pop the graph and the, the kind of dashboard and everything else. Um, so if you do want to, I'm going to talk you through some of the stuff here. So if you want to change the database, you can select the option here. Device, whether it's desktop or mobile, you can select that there. You can look in March, February, January, um, and various other dates there. Um, if you want to go back to historical data, um, which is quite cool as well. And if you want to change the currency um, to US dollars for your kind of average cost per click and stuff like that, then you have a look at that. Um, so this is just a brief overview um, where you can see everything and... You know, my website started in January 2016. You can see the kind of progress it's made over the years. Um, not a huge amount of progress. I don't do a huge amount of blogging. It's more of a reference point, but it's something I, I'm looking to change. Um, but organic search keywords, it does show you the kind of top organic keywords. Same rush. I do a lot of webinars so um, and do a lot of tutorials. So I'm positioning it for that particular search term, which gets 18,000 searches a month. Um, and so on you can scroll all the way down there you'll be able to see the different volumes which is hugely important and obviously the kind of percentage of search traffic that those particular keywords bring in um so you can click on view organic all organic keywords and you'll be able to see all of that data you can also see the kind of SERP features so if you've got local pack stuff knowledge graph stuff instant answer stuff news and so on you can see everything that you've you're URL has got um, based on those SERP features. We can also see <coughs> the kind of top pages, um, how many keywords the particular pages rank for and things like that as well, um, which is quite cool. And you can also see top subdomain, subdomains and stuff like that as well. So that's, you know, just the other version of my website, um, the the non ww dot version of my website but for example say we had a test dot Craig Campbell SEO it's quite good to see here whether that's been indexed or not and if keywords are pulling up just gives you a, a, a quick chance to go in there and make sure that you make sure that any subdomain names that are not due to be indexed by Google are not um getting picked up by Google so quite a cool little bit there to look at um for top subdomains um main organic competitors you can see all your main organic competitors based in keywords and stuff like that as well so again quite a cool feature but i'm not going to go into any more detail on the overview because when we scroll across on these tabs here it drills down into all of that data um so positions is the next tab and it will show you your organic search positions and there's 586 of those. Now, there is a bunch of filters here where you can actually just look at your top 10 positions, 
which I've got 52 of them. You can search by volume and you can use other advanced filters as well or filter by keywords. Um, at the moment, I'm not going to have any filters on. Um, so this gives you a kind of overview of all the kind of keywords and stuff like that that's on there. Now, over on the right hand side, you can manage the columns. So if you don't want to see, say, the kind of traffic percentages or the cost per click or the costs or competitive density or the results, you can eliminate all of these by unticking these boxes. Um, you can also use on the right hand side here, there's this um, little icon you can drag and drop if you want to see traffic first, for example. Um, that's quite a cool feature. And you can also export this data over here on the right hand side if you wanted to give all of that data to a client if you were showing them anything there. Um, and up at the top right hand side you have the PDF button where you can actually export it as a PDF. So just bear that in mind if you want to use that kind of stuff to show clients what you're up to or any kind of good information or whatever it may be. So yeah, that's quite a handy feature. It just shows you your kind of organic positions. Position changes. Um, not sure why that's not shown any data. Just let me come back to that in a moment. It's obviously shown me the new and lost keywords. Normally what you have down here is all the kind of position changes and the, the difference in the position. So something's went up two or three positions. It will tell you that at the moment it's saying we have no data to show. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but um, again, you can manage the columns, you can export the data and you can also export it as a PDF if you wanted to show people the position changes as a result of your work. Competitors. It shows you your competitors. Again, you can export as a PDF, export the data, or you can actually just drill down into the competitors data as well. Um, but you've also got this competitive positioning map, which shows you you know, kind of nice little graph of where you are compared to your competition. And as I say, you can then further drill down into the kind of common keywords and various other things that are going on um, with you and your competition. So it takes you into other parts of the tool. So I don't want to delve too much into that. Just want to kind of stay focused with the, the organic research tool. Pages. It will show you all your pages um, and again you can export this um, here or you can export as a PDF there. You do have advanced filters and you can filter by URL but what is quite cool here is you can see the traffic that for example my home page gets, um, the amount of keywords that it ranks for and the backlinks that that particular page has got as well. Um, Sadly, I was ne negative SEO'd by someone who decided to ram everything at my home page, which is fine. Um, you know, just disavow that stuff, but that's why that's shown that amount of backlinks. Um, but keep on top of that if you ever do come up with it, uh, come up against that. But you'll be able to see some of the other pages have just got a couple of backlinks here and there. Um, and that's what you would expect to have. Um, throughout your website, but it does show you your top performing keywords um, or top performing pages and based on kind of keywords these pages rank for and stuff like that. So you want to make sure you keep on top of that. Subdomains, as I say, you want to make sure that your subdomain names are not being indexed. So for example, if you've got a test website or other parts of your website that you may be using for something else. You don't want that stuff indexed, or maybe you do. If you do, then fair play. You can look at the traffic and stuff like that that it's ranking for. But uh, for me, in most cases, I think people have tests, uh, websites and stuff like that, which they will build on subdomain names. And this is a good place where you can actually see if that's happening to you. So in general, that is the organic research tool. As I say, you can use it for a lot of things. You can drill further down into the data. Um, and as I say, you can then drill down into 
um, using other tools. So, for example, if you go into common keywords between myself and Jump Online, um, it brings you up into the keyword gap tool and we can see where the gap is and, and if there's any opportunities that Jump Online are ranking for that I'm not. Um, we can look at all that kind of stuff. So, it does um, migrate into other tools and stuff like that. So, it's a great tool, the organic research tool, something I use on a, a regular basis. Um, and it's just good, you know, personally speaking, to be able to see your kind of position jumps uh, and stuff like that as well. So that's one of my favorite features is the position changes. Um, so that is really, really good and something I would highly recommend that you use. As I say, data is key to this whole game and it's just another great feature by SEMrush, just making the job easier, not having to do all the manual work. So that is the organic research tool. Any questions, please do let me know.